Hey there everybody, it's December 1st, 2016, and today we're going to do a day in the life. Happy Thursday morning, you guys. We are just running around getting a little bit of schoolwork done this morning. I am giving the kids a little bit of a break today because we are going on a field trip this morning. Um, it's the morning that we are gonna go do the Christmas play. We go see a like local theater Christmas play every year at the beginning of December, and that field trip is today. I'm really excited. I think this is probably the, I was thinking about this morning, I think it's probably the, maybe the fourth year I've taken Noah and Lydia and it's the second year I've taken Josiah. I usually wait till they're about like four or so so they can sit still. Even with Josiah being five, he's a little wiggly and I'm like, mm, please make it through the play. <laughs> but we always have a lot of fun at this one. They put on like a different theme each year. Last year was super, oh my gosh, last year was, was heart wrenching because there was like a tribute to the soldiers and the military and that was a hard one for me to sit through, but each year it's a little bit different. So I'm excited to go with the kids today and see the play and we're gonna hang out and it's just a gorgeous day out today. It's really beautiful out today, huh Lydia? I think it's probably chillier out there than it looks, but the sun's out and it's just beautiful and we're getting ready to head out the door. What? <laughs> what, Josiah, what do you need? I want to hug you. Yes, you could come hug me. Oh, my goodness, and my baby. I love it. He always comes up throughout the day and says, Can I hug you? Huh? Is that your favorite? Uh huh. Can I hug you? Mm -hmm. Oh, I love you. All right, let's go get in the car. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. So I don't even know if you can see me, we're down in the parking garage. We're having a hike, like forever. I forgot how busy this day is, how busy this field trip day is, because then there's like, everybody wants to come on this field trip. We're trying to make it to the theater on time. Josiah, what are you looking at? At the ceiling. Pretty cool, huh? There's so much to look at up there. Are you excited, Lydia? Me too. She's just asking if we have a program. We're gonna have to find a program because we always like to see who gets every recurring, huh? That'll be cool. All right, can I take a picture of you too? Josiah, can I take a picture of you with sister? No! <laughs> don't mind being on video, but you don't want a picture taken? What if I get real close like this? No, no. <laughs> like the perfect way to kick off December and it's probably one of my favorite field trips that we go on all year long and I always say I should make my husband take the day off next year he's taking the day off and going with us we had so much fun they redid Uptown Funk into the North Pole Funk they redid um, there was another one. Oh, single ladies and to the jingle ladies they redo songs and it's hilarious so much fun they had, like, during intermission, they had the kids get up and dance with the elves, and <laughs> so we just had a great time. I had a good time. What about you guys? So, so much fun. So much fun. So we are headed home to get a few things done, have some lunch. I'm starving. They went a little bit late today, so we got to go get some lunch, and we're going to go get some work done and enjoy this sunny day. It's so nice today. I remember last year, like, poured on this day, so we're headed home from here. <laughs> So I've turned my radio down so you, you don't 
get copyright issues. But we have a radio station here that plays all Christmas music from the day after Thanksgiving until New Year's, I think. So when I was in the car on Monday, I set my radio. We are listening to all Christmas music all the time on all these like crazy running around, going to dance lessons, swim lessons, everything. We've got our Christmas music on and we are ready for the season. So I almost forgot about you guys again. We're in the kitchen. We've just spent the last couple hours getting some schoolwork done. Noah's out mowing our neighbor's lawn. He's got a pretty nice big back lot so he gives Noah a little bit of extra money. Lydia and I are in the kitchen and let me show you what we're working on. So Noah has swim team tonight and on the nights he has swim team he comes home super hungry and cold. So I'm making a big pot of minestrone soup in my crock pot and I'm gonna throw tortellini in that. Um, just before we get ready to eat. I think I'm going to go to the gym, so it'll be nice to have dinner in the crock pot when we get home. Uh, Lydia, oh, ignore the dirty dishes. I'm working on that too. Lydia's working on getting some bread in the bread machine for me. It's nice to have a helper in the kitchen. I think she's concentrating so hard she's ignoring me, but I am very thankful to have somebody to help me out. All right, so what we are headed out of here. Let me show you what I got done. The dryer turned off, so my laundry's done. I know that. Uh, the bread machine is running. That'll be ready for dinner. Ignore the mess. Um, I hand washed all the dishes. The crock pot's going. The dishwasher is going. Um, let me see what else. I need to sweep. Yeah, I know. Um, so the kids are outside. They're turning on our Christmas lights. I've got a bag full of books. I need to... Um, go pick up some of our Christmas books. There's the bread machine again. I need to go pick up some more Christmas books from the library for our Chris for our Advent book. Our Christmas book Advent. It starts tonight. I haven't even wrapped a book yet. And I gotta go pick up some more at the library because they're gonna go off the hold tonight. And we're gonna try and get a movie for tomorrow night for family movie night, see if we can get a Christmas movie. So we're gonna go do that and then I'm gonna go to the gym. some of the others. But we'll get this one to watch um, The Grinch on Friday night. The Grinch. Just so you know, <laughs> we're safe. I only did 40 minutes on the elliptical tonight since we got here a little bit late and I didn't want to hold up dinner too much. So I only did 40 minutes on the elliptical, you saw that. And then I went in the stretching room because Lydia and I have a challenge, don't we? I keep telling me to stretch. She keeps telling me to stretch. She has her splits. I would say full splits, don't you think? Yeah, I just don't have the other side. Full splits on one side, super close on the other side, and actually even super close in the middle. I haven't even started the middle yet, but her challenge to me is that I stretch and get my splits, and I can't be shown up by my nine, eight-year-old daughter. So even though this body's quite a bit older than hers, I am determined, so I went in the other room and I stretched after my workout, and I worked on my splits. And you know what else I worked on? What? I worked on my froggy stands. <laughs> Mine aren't as good as yours. They're getting there. Do you guys know what froggy stands are? It's like a tripod stand into a, a headstand. And I got really, really close, but I think I was maybe like a little bit tilted. 
so but <laughs> I'm trying I'm working on it I can't let her show me up she's way too darn flexible with all this dance and gymnastics she does so I'm trying to uh, do a little catch up with her but we're headed home uh, bread should be just about done in just a couple minutes and we're gonna finish off the tortellini and have dinner with the boys Mmm, we just got home. This bread is gonna be so good with our dinner. <laughs> I love having a bread machine in my kitchen. It makes it really nice when we're in soup season this winter. And my soup's almost ready. Ooh, look at the steam coming out of that. That's gonna be so nice when Noah comes home from swim. I'm just cooking up the tortellini. But I'm excited. This minestrone is so full of vegetables and yummy stuff. And that tortellini is just the extra, like, little happy place to um, fill your tummy and feel like a treat. I think I have a video on this. If not, I was thinking about it while I was making it today. I should make a video on this one because it's really good and it's an easy crock pot meal. If I do, I'll link it down below. If not, I will do one really soon. So I think we're going to end the vlog for tonight. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We had such a busy, busy day between our field trip and homeschool and um, going to the gym and just getting stuff done around the house. Um, the boys are going to be home soon, so I'm finishing up dinner and Josiah is going to do his reading time while I'm finishing up dinner. And then after the kids go to bed, I'll probably spend the rest of the evening mixing my time between getting ready for Lydia's birthday and getting ready for Christmas because both are coming up so fast. I can't believe how quick it is coming. So I've got a lot to do. So I'm going to spend the evening trying to be productive and not just laying on the couch watching Survivor. <laughs> My husband and I missed it last night, so we're going to try and catch up. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with us today. Thank you guys so much for your support and watching the video. Don't forget, we're trying to hit 500 su subscribers this month. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that red button down below. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys.